Cool. All right. We're back with Five Across Splicing. Um, just uploaded two other videos, but don't want to make it seem like it's just clickbait. I don't do any splicing, so I'm going to throw up a quick splicing video. We're just going to splice 12. Previous video, we prepped the cables to a Tyco B. We got a 72 count, 48. I prepped green and brown into the trays. All right, starting out, I have an uh, Amazon splicer. I've used Fuji, all kinds of Fuji Curve splicers. I've used uh, Fitel and, oh shit, that's it. Fitel, Fuji Curve, and this one. Uh, usually Fuji Curve is like thousands of dollars or whatever. This is only like, <coughs> excuse me. This is only like 1200 bucks. And it's, it's awesome. It's just as quick, it's just, honestly, there's no real reason to buy the Fuji Curve. Unless Fuji Curve is watching, you want to send me a free 90S, I will promote you all day, every day, okay? So, got a Fuji Curve. I have a Gennard FC500 uh, three-step cleaver. Uh, there's all different types of cleavers. Uh, this one's, I like this one. It's dependable, easy to change out the blades. Make sure you get the right blade size. Um, Honestly, the most reliable I've had, and I've had all kinds, CT30, 35s, all future curve ones, freaking all of them. I do like this one a lot. All right, I have just normal strippers, three hole strippers, Amazon, like six bucks, or actually no, these are like 15. And then we have our, our sleep protectors. Uh, we call them shrink, and my pig, moon with the fiber, chem wipes, and alcohol. All right, so let me get started here. Now we're just gonna do 12. So I have 24 here in the tray. I'm gonna unwrap that, unwrap this one. I'm gonna separate them. So I put this in backwards. Green's supposed to be on this side. When you're putting buffers into the tray, you wanna go in order, starting from the outside to the inside. So that's wrong, this side is right, all right? I'm just gonna be using green. So I'm gonna coil, coil brown back up. Go. Set that off to the side. Do the same thing over here. Get brown. Pass that to the side. Now I have green and brown. I mean, I just have uh, green on both sides, I'm sorry. So I want green to go in this top, top splice holder, so I'm gonna bring it down. I'm gonna come around, get it to the third from the bottom. I've, you see I'm filled out on the side right here, so I'm going to pull it in a little bit, just so it's not going to be too large for whatever reason. Okay. And then, same thing for the other side. Start from the bottom, then my break. Okay, now I got both sides measured. I can start prepping them to splice. All right, this is gonna be my non shrink side, and this is my shrink side. We have 12 shrink, two, four, six, eight, ten, and twelve. All right. So you want to grab this buffer from the back with your knuckles and pull it straight so it doesn't get all twisted whenever you wrap it in. All right, I have that between my forefinger and my middle finger. I'm gonna put this, put the, the shrink between my thumb and my forefinger. Make sure this all the way, out of the way. All right. Oh, we got two of them. Now there's a inner sleeve and an outer sleeve. You want to make sure you get it on the inner sleeve of any shrink you're doing. Some of them is more obvious than other ones. Uh, it, it is obvious on this one, so you want to make sure you don't actually get it into the outer sleeve. 
because that metal bar isn't really going to protect it. Um, you're going to be up against the metal bar of, of this uh, shrink. All right, I got them all in there. Oh, looks like one fell out. Okay, I'm going to slide them all down at once. Grab them all at the same time. Wrap it around my finger. And strip them. And you want about that much. I'm not sure if you can see it too well, but that's probably just over an inch. That's on the black one. Let's get a different one. All right, that's all strips. I'm gonna set to my side, and I'm only gonna leave about three inches hanging off. Let me get this other side, same thing. Grab it with your knuckles. Grab it around. Make sure it's all good. I'm gonna strip this side. This is a little, oh shoot, a little long. Two, nine. All right, I got that size train. And there's no particular plan for this case, so we're just going to do a straight bus splice, color for color. As y'all should know, the color code in order is blue orange, green brown, slate white, red black, yellow violet, and rose aqua. Uh, in that order, and you normally go as pairs. Some companies don't, but whatever. Okay. Make sure there's plenty of alcohol on my pad. You want to make sure your fibers are nice and clean when you're putting them in your machine. You don't want to need dust or residue or anything like that getting onto them. <clears throat> getting inside your machine, having to stop and clean it and all that other crap. And then, I mean, really, you're just not even going to splice that well if, if you don't um, keep a nice clean rag. All right, open it up. Got to clean it. Open up everything. So if you see those numbers right here, we got 10, or I'm sorry, uh, 20, 15, 10. And you want to write it about 15, okay? So we're going to close that up, I'm just going to lay it across, and you slide it, and it's going to do a, a good cleave. Well, hopefully it's a good cleave. If you have the blade set right, uh, you haven't done too many splices, Jesus. And, um, and it's set at the right height, then you should do a, a clean cleave every time. Now I'm putting it in the chuck, and if you're looking right here, when I put it in here, whenever you take it out of your cleaver, it's almost perfectly, uh, it's almost at the perfect length to set your fingers right here and place it in here. Now I'm gonna go head first. You wanna place it between the electrodes and the fiber guide. Okay, you don't want the end of this fiber to touch anything after you cleave it. I'm gonna close the chuck and I'm gonna, and, uh, I'm gonna let it splice. Now while I'm doing that, I wanna get my next ones ready. I can see that it's good splice, it's gonna, it's good cleave, so it's probably gonna splice well. All right. And I'm holding this fiber in my mouth because I don't want to drop it and have the end touch anything, but I want to have it prepped ready for my next one. So I'll come in here. Okay, I'm doing it too fast. Um, so you want your splice to be in the middle of the shrink, okay? And I put it right here. These chucks are magnetic, and there's metal bars. So if you put it right there, it's not going to easily go anywhere. Okay, put it right there, slide it in, lift it up, straight down. A lot of them are automatic and they'll close by itself. This one, obviously being one of the cheaper ones, you got you to do it yourself. But it, it's not that, it's not too much extra. Alright, and now I have my next two already ready to be put in. Now you see right there, I played again. There's a little bit of a bad cleave, and there's something hanging off of this. 
I know that's not going to splice well, so I'm going to go ahead and redo it. Might still splice well, we'll see. Okay, that one should be okay. While that's splicing, I'm getting the next one ready. And now I shrink on the left, because uh, that's just the way I like shrinking it, but the whole point of, oh, let me back up. So I shrink on the left and grab the fibers from the right. Okay. And I do that because on the right hand side I can just grab any fiber I want and get it. And then no matter what color it is, it's a lot easier to pick up the, the color you want while you have the shrink on here. So I'm over here, I just choose any random fiber. We got black. Okay, clear black. And now I don't have to, you know, spend too much time searching over here unless I can't find the black. Uh, because it has shrink on it. I can pick the whole thing up. That's also why you don't want to leave too much out right here. You want to pick up the shrink and have the fiber available for you. Okay? You don't want to be chasing it all the way down here and, and doing all kind of other stuff while you, uh, uh, in the middle of your slicing, it's, it's going to slow you down. And everything counts when you're slicing. Nope. That was a bad cleave. Yeah, I recently tried to replace a blade and realized I ordered all the wrong size blades. That was fun. Oops. All right, it looks like it's gonna be a good slice. We got a slate here. Oh, looks like I missed it when I was stripping it. Or it could have broken off. My towel is getting a little dry. I'm gonna spray it down some more. You always want to have a nice wet towel to make sure you're getting a good clean wipe on the fiber. A lot of other splices have um, have splice holders on them. This one doesn't. I don't really feel the need for one because if I if I really am using the splice holder, it's going to be on ones that are more than uh, you know more than twelve. Otherwise, I don't really care where they're going. So if most of the time I'm just doing two splices and then I'm doing a bunch of them anyways. What I do is just is wrap each set of 12 in a, in a little Kim wipe and keep them separated. You don't want to mess with the with the shrink whenever it's too hot because you got to remember it's still flexible. You still have your fiber in there with the splice. You don't want to uh, put a uh, just unreasonable bend on it for whatever reason. So we just set those aside, let them cool off. Now every time you do your cleave, you want to make sure that nothing is in the way whenever you're doing your cleave, because you probably won't notice, but a lot of things end up getting stuck. So if I cleave a fiber, it might be stuck, one stuck right here, and I could have something stuck up here. If there's anything in the way of your cleaver, whenever you're trying to do your next cleave, uh, nine times out of ten, it's going to mess it up. And it might repeatedly mess it up if it's stuck and you don't necessarily see it right at first. Most of your issues you're going to have with fiber splicing is going to be with your cleaner. Now, I'm using this one. I like it the best. It was only like 200 something bucks. It's pretty cheap. Uh, if I had the other ones, I would show videos on how to replace them. But the ones I'm used to, like Fujikura, CT30, stuff like that, you're looking at you know a couple hundred to a thousand bucks for that cleaver.
This one works just fine for me. And it's not hard to splice at all. The key to splice the fast is just getting your rhythm down, perfecting your rhythm, and just practice, 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 practice. All right, looks like we got two left, and then we'll be able to wrap it in the tray and wrap this video up. And we'll go to bed. A long day of splicing tomorrow. Yeah, see, I thought I noticed it didn't go in all the way, and just on the side, it's coming out a little bit. Let me make sure you slide that back over. Now, if you do shrink this, and it's not all the way in the shrink, what you can do is heat it back up twice in the heater, and then grab a Kim wipe and slide it whichever direction you go. I've never had any issues with doing that before. All right, that'll wrap up 12 splices for us. Okay, this time you can start packing up. All right, so this is finished. I'm gonna load this up. All right, now when these are hot, you never wanna put them uh, in here because as you're pushing them down, they're gonna break. Uh, almost guaranteed when it's hot. So, you just sit here and let it cool down. This is gonna take forever for us. So, just for the video's sake, I'm gonna wipe it down with some, al some cold alcohol. You can probably notice the color change that happened in them as it cooled down. And once they're cool, it should be good to go. All right, so, you have your input side coming out here. You just wanna lay that over. You have this side coming over here. No, all right. So with this particular splice holder, um, these shrink are a little bit too big for this. Um, what you want to have is double stacked or whatever, but I'm just going to show you how to put this in even with, with shrink that are too large. Now, if you know your shrink's too big uh, to fill this up without having anything pop out, uh, just go ahead and put them in order. If you have shrink that, that uh, fit, then you don't have to put them in order. So we're just real quick. I'm going to put these in order. And since I have my fibers out to the side, I can do this and whatever without having to worry about anything getting um, tangled up. And you want to make sure the metal piece of the splice is up so you're pushing on the metal of the, of the, um, of the shrink and not on the actual fiber itself. All right, and one side is going to go up, the other side is going to go down. And you want to put these in order to the color code as well. And again, that's blue, orange, green, brown, slate white, red, black, yellow, white, and rose aqua. In that order as pairs. Is the right one? Yeah, that's right. Oh, I was supposed to be putting this in order. I completely got carried away. All right, let me continue putting this in order. Now, this is why you got to put it in order because you can see as you start filling this up, this opening is no longer open. This is it starts getting closed. And you start messing with it, you might end up breaking your splice that you put in here just trying to jam it in there. Up a little bit. Okay. 
Red, black, yellow. <gasps> oh no, I broke it. I broke the violet. That's okay. So, you want to keep your workspace clear and be conscious of what you're doing. Just doing this, what I'm doing right now, I broke the violet. And not next to the splice, I broke it out here. So, we're just going to... For the video's sake, we'll just pull that out and coil it up so we don't got to worry about it. Alright, other side of the violet. Toss out the, that out to the side. Now, this, if this happens and you're and you're pretty new to doing fiber, this is how you want to do it. You want to take this out. You want to wrap this in and splice this later. Now, normally I would just splice it together real quick, but I notice a lot of new people do have issues with um, doing that while all the fibers are out like this. So we're gonna have a violet and skip that. We got rose and then one more. Is aqua. These are the worst splice holders ever. It takes up so much of your time uh, doing this. Okay, now we have all the splices in here. All right, we're going to get this side and we're going to fold it down across all here. And we're going to come with this and do the same back up, have it sit just like this. We're going to do the same on the other side. Just slide this down. You come back up and do it like this. You're gonna have this side coming on, on the bottom or top. I, it doesn't really matter. Never met anybody who cared about it. And then after you're done with that, you wanna go ahead and slide this in here. This. Ten we splice this violet back together. Okay. Trailer. Put the trailer back on. We're gonna make sure that nothing's in the way. Slide this down. Alrighty. And then we put the red strap on. 